The Conservative Party have finally withdrawn support from the two candidates who are standing, uh, who were connected with the Gambling Commission scandal. Uh, these are Craig Saunders and Laura, uh, Craig Williams and Laura Saunders. And it's about time, but the damage has been done. And I think these two individuals in particular will be responsible for the collapse of the Conservative Party as a whole. Um, if, for example, the um, One Nation group of uh, Tories were to succeed in getting the majority of the seats and uh, were to elect their own leader after the collapse of the um, general election, then I think it's possible that the Conservative Party could find some form of re-emergence. If, on the other hand, the people who take control of the Conservative Party after the election are individuals from the right, like Suella Braverman, Priti Patel, the Conservative Party is absolutely and utterly doomed. It will unite with the Reform Party and it, it, it will almost certainly become bigger uh, and may become bigger very quickly, but it is doomed. And uh, the, the only way for a future for the Conservative Party is to return to the centre ground. If it returns to the centre ground, it is possible that it could be back in power within five to ten years if it continues moving towards the right, to reform, to Farage, I think the chance of it ever having power again um, is zero. Uh, with the possibility of first past the post being removed, which I think is unlikely by the Labour Party, there is a chance that Farage could find his way into the acquisition of the keys of the kingdom. But I think that's a very, very far cry, um, a sort of Hail Mary of the right, and not necessarily something to be desired. So uh, today is the day when the Conservative Party has effectively conceded defeat. Uh, and it, I think, I think it could have um, almost survived, almost survived, if Rishi Sunak had been slightly more decisive and slightly more efficacious. As it was, he has been um, a dithering pillock of the first magnitude. And I can't think really, since the uh, death of the first emperor of China, that there has ever been such a self-indulgent hand over a power oh, on on that subject by the way i i'm i must say i was so excited um i finally got to see a film called the mysteries of the terracotta warriors somebody recommended i had a look at it and i and i was thrilled and delighted to find that i had actually done a lot of the maps in the film and it, it's it's on netflix um and i hadn't known the title of the film that i was working on last year so it was a it was a stunning pleasure, but my goodness, it's a harrowing story of the handover of power and the failure of the first emperor to actually make a clear plan for what happens after his death, what happens after um, his reign is finished. And the same thing is true, of course, of Rishi Sunak and the present Conservative Party in the case of the Conservatives, I think it's been a long, slow um, death by, by, by self-inflicted onanistic obsession. Not, not unlike, I, to go back to China, not unlike self-mummification, which, um, which was a sort of Buddhist practice, in, uh, particularly in Tibet, and um, adherents, particularly elderly nuns, would follow a, 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 a tradition of self-immolation, preparing for self-immolation, and then go further, um, meditating and not taking any water, but filling their stomach with stones and leaves and strong-smelling flowers, and eventually, I suppose, starving or suffocating them to death with poisonous plants. The result was that their bodies did not de decompose in any way, 
uh, and they were emitting holy smells thereafter and were venerated as mummified Buddhas, so ensuring their, their dignity in an afterlife. But, um, yeah, what an afterlife for this Conservative Party. Uh, and uh, what dithering and how long it has been with the slow ingesting of poisonous plants, whatever they be, um, or sniffing in the case of Mr. Gove, I suppose. Um, don't mind if I do. And I, I, I just find the corruption and the... and the one rule for them, one rule for us, so utterly distasteful. And uh, and and similar similar optics are to be found in the SNP, um, particularly in Scotland. But I gather that uh, Nicola Sturgeon is flying down to London for uh, to preside over the election count and to give her voice on ITV. It's a bit like a visit from Mary Poppins, isn't it? Um, don't stay away too long, Mary Poppins. And uh, maybe she, I, I don't know, I don't know how she's coming down. Is it by camper van, by uh, umbrella? Or maybe she's got some special delivery option with the post office with 